We want to bring in former Massachusetts Senator, Fox News contributor Scott Brown. Senator, good to see you. Uh, your thoughts on this? Good so to see now you, Maria. We, we're thinking that there are still conversations behind the scenes that perhaps they could get a deal done. Well, I understood that there was a, a conversation. It's silly not to because what are they, maybe 10 to 12 votes away from actually getting a deal done? And the outrage by the American people who sent the Republicans there, gave them the presidency, the Senate, and the House to repeal and replace Obamacare, deal with taxes, and a whole host of issues on immigration and border security and trade. If they don't get this stuff done, there's going to be, you know, what to pay. Senator Scott, it's Jacob McDowell. But I just I wonder how many people really understood what was in the GOP bill that Ryan put together. It wasn't a bad bill, and you had, for political reasons, uh, the Freedom Caucus not getting on board with it. But the fact that the Republicans couldn't unite around something that cut spending and cut taxes by both a trillion dollars is kind of shameful. Yeah, I, I thought it was a mistake not to uh, get the bill in there, and, and even if it was not the perfect bill, say you get an 80% bill, and then actually let Secretary Price do his work, and then in the third phase, as, as uh, Speaker Ryan said, work on the things that matter, because, you know, you have that, that problem in the Senate of reconciliation. You can't take a bill that's loaded with all these goodies in the House and then move it into the Senate. It'll be ruled out of order. I know it's kind of in the weeds stuff, but it's very, very important. But, you know, here's the good news. They're still talking. I think it's because uh, when you speak to the average person on the street, they say they. They don't say the Republicans. They say they. Those people in Washington, they're in a bubble. And that includes the Democrats. That's why I think it's a big mistake for, uh, you know, uh, Minority Leader Schumer and others to say, oh, you know, forget ab about re re repealing it. Listen, they had about 300 opportunities when I first got elected to fix it. And now all of a sudden they want to fix it again? It's disingenuous. So, Senator, it's Steve Hilton here. I just wanted to ask you about the sequencing. Hi, um, we were told at the beginning of this whole process, we've got to do health care, then we've got to do tax reform, then we have to do infrastructure. That's the order. Um, for me, getting the economy moving is the big thing that the president won, won on and, and needs to get on with. Do you still think that that sequencing needs to be in place? In other words, we've got to do something on health care before we can take the big moves on the economy. Well, he's doing uh, as much as he can through his executive orders, as evidenced by yesterday in dealing with the coal and, uh, and oil industries. Uh, I always thought that it was a proper sequencing because you're using the savings from Obamacare, which is about a trillion dollars, to have a more massive and vibrant, I thought, uh, tax policy, tax cuts uh, for individuals and business. But uh, so, yes, jobs and job creation is the best thing, obviously, for the United States, as it is for Britain, obviously. And the way you get that is by repatri repatriating that offshore money, lowering corporate tax rates, streamlining rules and regulations, creating business and individual uh, security so they know what's next, not for the next three to six to nine months, but the next three to six to nine years. And that can still be done. Uh, I'm hoping they get it done in that order still. Yeah, you know what? We want to look at what's going on in, in Britain and really look at also compare it to what's happening here in the U.S. because there's a new debate right now over sanctuary cities, obviously. It's raging uh, more than ever right now. Several mayors are set to meet with the Department of Homeland Security Secretary today, John Kelly, after Attorney General Jeff Sessions threatened to pull funding for any state refusing to comply with federal immigration laws. That was an aggressive commentary that Jeff Sessions had yesterday, Senator. What do you think? Are they going to follow through? I mean, could we see real implications for those mayors who blow off the law? Well, not only in England where they're having immigration issues. And by the way, the first thing I think we should do as a country is do a, a bilateral trade agreement to help them through the transitional part. But dealing with the mayors here, absolutely, they, we should take away the funding. And I think uh, Secretary slash General Kelly is the best guy to actually meet with these mayors because he was but actually the South Carolina commander. We know that actually, they're going to take away the funding, but should they no, be arrested the, for breaking the law and blowing off yeah. the law? Yeah, that's the absolute last resort. If that's hmm. within the, the, the laws that they can actually be arrested, then that's certainly a tool in the toolbox. I don't necessarily recommend it, uh, but I think they should use every tool in the toolbox before we get to that point. Senator, it's Kevin Kelly. Uh, going back to the sanctuary city hey, situation Kevin. and the funding, we've even had these cities like San Francisco talking about 
suing the federal government for withholding uh, yeah. the funding, as well as talking about not paying back some funding to the federal government. Do you think this would be a giant obstacle that would be similar to the travel ban, where it would get stuck in the court system and then it would actually not be implemented and they'd stifle the actual policy? Well, the, the federal government has certain leeway with a lot of the grants uh, that they're providing, and those are not mandatory grants that the federal government provide. There are there are strings attached. Remember when we used to when we dropped the driving limit down to 55? Well, if and, and wear your seatbelts, you get X amount of money for doing that. It's an incentive, you know, that carrot and, and stick approach. Well, they have that ability. Certainly, you can go through the court system. You may they're probably forum shopping right now, as they did with the travel ban, uh, but. I'm fascinated by the fact that you have these mayors where you have someone who's arrested, usually for a violent crime, and is immediately not are released after they've been found you know, to be guilty or they're, they're, they're arrested. They have a long record. How does that make sense for the people in that city or, or town? I'm flabbergasted. Please enlighten me, Maria. I don't know. Wow. All right. Well, we, if you don't know, we'll, we'll be watching it. We'll see. Senator, thanks so much. Scott Brown joining us there.